Hey guys, welcome to Amazing Gadgets. Today I will be teaching you how to make a homopolar motor. Before we can get started, I have to give you a disclaimer and some warnings as this project uses a pretty big neodymium magnet, the one you see here. Now these magnets are really strong and they will, they will interfere with electronics or break them. And make sure you put your credit cards away from these because they will wipe it clean. They're really strong. So if you have pacemakers, this project isn't for you. If you're going to make a video like mine, make sure that your electronic and camera equipment are at least two feet away from the magnet because it might destroy your camcorder. So if you decide to do this project, please remember you're doing this at your own risk and I will not be responsible for any damages. If you have two of these magnets, they can crush your bones, so be careful. So to get started, as I said before, you'll need a neodymium magnet, a nail, some copper wire, preferably with alligator clips, and some double A batteries and with battery boxes. And a ruler, hopefully it's a sturdy one because uh, one flexible like this will not really work that well. So to get started, I have a piece of wood over here because my ruler is flexible. And you'll see in a minute why I need this to support up the ruler. So right now, and you need the ruler. I have a hole at the end, but it's too big. That's why I have a cardboard on the piece of nail to prevent. Mm. Yeah, as you can see, it, the magnet is really strong, so be careful. I have this cardboard on here because the hole on my ruler is too big, and it will probably fall off if I don't have this. So put the ruler on the piece of board if it's flexible. If it's not, then you probably don't need it. Slip the nail in the hole. And if you don't have a heavy object, you can always use a clamp. Make sure you clamp it down because the magnet will probably weigh it down a bit later. Now let me show you the battery box right here. So I have these battery boxes. I guess four AA batteries for this. You can always use less. You can use any kind of battery. I'm using double A's because they're really easy to find and buy. So have this and have two leads sticking out at the end of it. I've got two alligator clips. And if you're using alligator clip, make sure you attach a piece of copper wire to the other one. Alright, now I put it down on my workplace. Clamp the free alligator clip to the nail. Now if you have a ball bearing, a metal ball bearing, that's great. If you don't, then you can always attach the magnet directly to the nail, but because the nail might damage the magnet, I'm going to put a ball bearing on here as a shield. And this piece of tape here just to show you that I will spin later. So right now I have my ball bearing, attach it on the nail. So now that my magnifying attached the nail, you just take the other copper wire and make contact with it. and the magnet will be spinning really fast now don't do this for too long as the batteries will overheat and so yeah it, it spins really fast you can hear from the let it start up a little bit then you hear okay you can probably not hear it because the mag microphone's not picking up the sound but listen let me hold my microphone up to it so you can hear it Anyways guys, if it wasn't that clear, let me draw you a diagram. So, two AA batteries, and 
Let's see, you have one connection going out over here. Uh, one connection going out over here. And this connection will be connected to your the screw. So And this will be your ball bearing right here and your magnet. And then this wire makes contact with a magnet. So double A batteries. You have two contacts leading out of the double A batteries. One contact goes on the nail, and a ball bearing is attached to the nail, and you have a magnet attached to the ball bearing. And the other contact is supposed to make contact with a magnet on the side, and it will start spinning. And there you have it, a perfect homopolar motor. So that's it for the Homo Polar Rotor tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.